Welcome back to Tangling Yarn. Today I want to show you how to join these flowers together to make a blanket. We made a back stitch and a knot around four petals. Now we will only work in the two petals in the back. Start out with a slip knot. Insert the hook in the two paddles in the back and put the slip knot on your hook. Chain one to attach the yarn to the flower. Now chain two. Insert the hook into the next two petals and make a slip stitch. Now chain three. Again make a slip stitch into the next two petals and chain three. Keep going like this until you have worked your way around the flower. To end the row, make a slip stitch into the first stitch of the row. Cut off the yarn and pull it through the last stitch. You should now have 12 short chains around the flower. Crochet around all the other flowers you've prepared to make your blanket. Start out with a slip knot. Put the hook under a chain of three. Put the slip knot on your hook and chain one to connect the yarn to the chain. Now chain two. This chain counts as your first double crochet. Make two double crochets around the chain of the first row. Chain 1. Make 3 double crochets around the next chain of 3. Chain 1 and then again make 3 double crochets around the next chain of 3. Keep going like this until you have made 8 sets of 3 double crochets. Chain 1 in between the sets of 3 double crochets. I have already made 8 sets of 3 double crochets and I have chained 1 in between the sets of 3. After the last set of 3 double crochets I will now chain 1, as usual. Take another flower and make a set of 3 double crochets around one of the chains.
turn the flower in a way that the last two sets of three double crochets will be facing each other. And make a slip stitch into the chain stitch of the flower opposite. Continue making three double crochets. Then again, make a slip stitch into the chain of the flower next to it. Again, make a set of three double crochets into the second flower. Now that the flowers are connected at these three points, keep making sets of three double crochets that are connected with a chain of one until you have made eight sets of three double crochets around the second flower. Take another flower and connect it the way you connected the second flower. Keep going like this until your row is as long as you want it to be. At the end of the row, work around the last flower of your row. I'm almost done working around the last flower of this row. Right now, I'm crocheting the last set of three double crochets. When you've worked 12 sets of three double crochets around the flower, make a slip stitch into this chain stitch in between those two flowers. Work around the lower side of the flowers and always make four sets of three double crochets connected with a chain of one. And then always make a slip stitch in between two flowers. Keep going like this until you get to the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row. I've already made the last three double crochets in this row. Now I will chain one and I will make a slip stitch into the first double crochet to end the row. In the next row the flowers are shifted in between two flowers of the row above. To make a second row of flowers, take a flower and make three double crochets around one of the chains. Then 
Turn the flower in a way that the last two sets of three double crochets are facing each other. Then make a slip stitch into the chain of one of the flower next to it. Keep going as we did before. Now make two sets of three double crochets and connect them with a chain of one. We will keep going the same way we did so far. Except that in the second row, there will be more places where you will have to connect the flowers with a slip stitch. Because in the second row, we won't just work around the flowers, we will also connect them to the first row. There, where the flowers meet, just as before, you make a slip stitch into the chain stitch opposite. Keep going like this until you get to the end of the row. Crochet around the last flower of the row and work around the lower side of the flowers, just like you did when you made your first row. Don't add any flowers as you work your way back. End the row at the bottom end of the last flower. Don't work around the flower. This is where you start your third row and connect another flower. Connect more flowers just like you did when you made your second row of flowers. Then work your way back on the lower side without connecting any flowers. Keep going and add rows the way you did so far. When your blanket is as long as you want it to be, you work up the side. Check out my channel to learn how to do the triangle star stitch and other little projects. Hope you like it. See you there.